Hey everybody, it's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to talk to you about the effects of the solar eclipse and what we may see as far as changes in our environment and our surroundings and how it may affect us. Um, I included this video as part of the Cruel Summer series because there's going to be a lot of energies going on with all the retrogrades, the solar eclipses, the lunar eclipses that are all going on in the month of February. So we um, already have about four planets in retrograde. Mercury is going to go in retrograde in a couple of days. And so is Chiron, the asteroid, which is the healer. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of energies that are going to be going around. And so with the solar eclipse, you want to focus on, or what you may focus on, these energies may make you focus on things that are in reference to the home. Because the eclipse is going to be uh, in the sign of cancer or in the fourth house, which deals with domesticated issues, your relationship with your family, um, your mother, your relationship with your mom, all things that go on in your house, you know, your ancestral heritage, um, your roots, things like that. <clears throat> so a lot of us have the opportunity now to make the changes that we want to ch uh, make in those areas. All right. So the purpose of this video is to make you aware of the energies that are available to you so that in the event you want to start making these changes, you're able to take advantage of the energies to do so. All right. So with the sun, with the solar eclipse happening in the house of cancer, you're dealing with emotions also. OK, you're dealing with feelings, emotions, how you respond to things that happen to you. Um, so if you're not happy with what's going on in your family you know that's something that may come up you know there may be some other family members who might be affected in those energies in that way all right and also what you want to look at is the home within the soul okay are there some changes you want to make there are some things that you're not happy with there and if so use these energies to make the changes um, the energies and the residual effects of solar eclipses can last up to a year so if you start working on it now, you know, you can only progress and you can use these energies that last for up to a year to make the changes that you want to make. So if you want to make changes within for your soul home, you know, because there are things that you may want to address or that you may not have touched on, you may want to do that now. Um, there may be some concerns that come up in reference to family and communication with family, especially with Mercury going in retrograde in a couple of days. I'll make a video on that too. But <clears throat> communication is going to be key and patience is going to be key as well. All right. So I'm trying to think of any. OK. Yeah. With the solar eclipse, there's some physical uh, concerns. You know, some people experience things like being sluggish, being um, slightly irritated. So you may just want to have a little bit more patience with people during this time. Um, pregnant women. Um, there are allegations that, you know, lunar eclipses and solar eclipses have an effect on you when you're pregnant. I wouldn't trip out about it, but I would just talk to your doctor if you have some concerns. Maybe do some research. Put your mind at ease. Um, I wrote down some things, too, here, just to make sure I remember I get everything for you. Oh, eye injuries. Please don't be looking up at the solar eclipse. Don't do that. Digestion issues. A lot of people will have digestion issues. So a lot of people do fast or do intermittent fasting around the time of solar and lunar eclipses. So just pay attention to that if you experience something like that. And then a lot of people in general, just their emotions are going to be out of whack because again, the solar eclipse is in the house of cancer and cancer deals with the emotions. Okay. So keep in mind these energies that are going on. And like I said, the residual effects of these energies can last up to a year. So take advantage of them. If there's some things that you want to discuss with your family, you know, um, to try to make things better in your family and your home, take advantage of it. Try to do so. And also have patience with your family members as well. This is an important time for that. Okay. I am thinking. Yeah, I think I got everything that I wanted to touch on. I know this video was short notice and really quick, so I didn't have a whole lot of detailed information for you about it. But the importance is, is that you understand what these energies are for, so you can use them to your advantage so that you don't have dun, 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 a cruel summer. All right, well, I'm about to uh, take off. Thank you for checking in. Subscribe to the page or the channel. 
if you're interested in more videos like this, we're going to be touching on things, uh, astrology, whether it's Vedic astrology, Western astrology, and also tarot. So uh, please check us out on YouTube, 8th House Energies. It's your girl D. I'm out.